guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome if you're an od welcome back guys so today i showed you guys how i achieved this eye look i know towards the end of the video i stated that i was going to show you how i did my face but i really haven't done anything different um i'm learning a new a couple new tricks or try to incorporate a few things with my face routine um so i'm trying to see how it works and how i feel about it before i share them so i really didn't share my face routine if you like this video and want to see more videos like this, please like and comment below some things you like, what you want to see more of, some more in detailed or in-depth um, makeup tutorials on why I use certain brushes and why I do this when I'm doing my makeup. I'll be more than happy to provide them to you guys. But guys, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into the video and make sure you comment in between the videos and let me know what you like and what you enjoy. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do is get this look over here i saw this look wanted to use some of my elf odyssey eyes so i'm going to recreate this look on this side so let's get started so what i did here is i'm going in with this as um one of my base transition shades and when i apply it to the lid i'm applying it in a cut crease shape that way um it gets the most in the areas that I know will be seen or forms that darkened area so that the areas that I want to be seen or get that dark crease look, it will be seen more in that area. So after I go on with this shade, I'm going to go in with this shade right here. And I believe their names is called Brunette and Muddy. So I'm going in with Brunette and then I'm going on top of that with Muddy. It's giving it that darkened tone so that's what i'm doing here so i've already applied the brunette and then i'm going to go in next with the muddy Next one I'm going to do is go in with my Warrior palette and I'm going to go in with the shade Canoe and I'm going to apply that to the top up into the arch of my eyebrow to kind of soften out the crease look so it's more of a soft look um, to apply on top of the brunette and muddy to kind of soften that transition and I'm going to soften that area up into the arch of my brow. And when doing this step, I like to go in a circular motion to try to like soften down and not be too harsh with this area because I don't want it to be too blotty. Well, I don't want it to be blotty at all. So you definitely want to go in a light circular motion to blend out the harsh line and to softly blend in the transition shade that you're using. So definitely make sure that you are going soft in a circular motion and just blending it out as best as you can. And do not be discouraged if it takes a while for the blending to happen. Blending is truly a process. It's truly one of those trust the process situations. So definitely trust the process when you are blending out your makeup. Next, I'm going to go in with the Bloom palette. And I'm going to go in with this blue shade. It's called Panini. I'm going to use Panini as my base before I apply my Elf Ocean Eyes on top. So when I apply a shade, I like to start from the bottom and work my way up. That way, the most of the color will apply to the center of the lid. And as I go up to the transition, the very light few pieces or colors of the shadow will fade into the transition. So if you see me work my way from the bottom up, that's why.
So I'm just gonna continue to work this glue in, blend out everything, and I'll be back when we apply the e.l.f. What I like about them is that they have their own brush that you can apply so you don't have to worry about like doing too much, but I'm still gonna do too much because I'm gonna use my separate um, brush to like blend it out. And like, I like to blot it around because I don't want it to have like a there effect. I want it to have like a blend it out, you know, like it's going into it. My words never get out right, but you know what I mean. So we're gonna just do that part. Okay, we, we doing something. <laughs> so I'm just gonna keep blending it out. Y'all know I don't apply my eyelashes on camera, so I'm gonna apply my eyelashes and I'm gonna come back so we can get this face together. All right, guys, that's it for the video. If you like it and made it this far, please don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss an upload, guys. And as always, stay true and stay you, and I'll see you guys in the next video.